Hey guys, welcome to, back to KSP and indeed K Trails, the Anti Jeb Coalition. Uh, so first off, I'm coming into the uh, Space Astronaut uh, Lounge because we need to select ourselves a new new Kerbin. Now we're looking for someone who's quite courageous and more than a little bit stupid, so we can get him doing uh, what it is that we want him to do. Uh, and what is that what we want him to do? Well, maybe we have a, a new super secret mission, mission that needs undertaken. And by super secret, I mean maybe we just have a mission that needs undertaken where there's quite a high chance of, uh, of dying. So we're going to go for Gerzo Kerman, uh, a, a quite courageous and very silly um, Kerman, Kerbal. Uh, and we're going to go build something. In fact, what we're going to go build is this vessel here. Um, as you can see, it uses many uh, parts of uh, Infernal Robotics. Uh, and this indeed is the cleanup uh, ship that I've been going on about for a little while now. Uh, obviously, throughout the course of my, uh, my, my, my trips out, we've, we've had things like that. <coughs> just, just little bits of debris around that really don't need to be there. Um, so yeah, having a look at the ship you can see that we've got like a hinged front on the front here um oh, quick staging uh up to full power obviously i i throttled back on that first stage to try and um bring myself uh, a little bit of fuel efficiency and indeed i think what we're going to do is have a little bit of a jump through the staging at this time because uh, take off say first liquid fuel tank drop boom goes well a little bit of a roll but nothing we can't appreciate and still can't see still can't quite see Kerbin from my uh, from my cockpit here but we do get a beautiful view of the arms um, <clears throat> so we're in a face down position here and yeah still taking off second stage goes well um, lots of fuel lots of height still can't see Kerbin so I should probably uh, pull my nose well, I suppose it's down as like the only op only way that down is in space is towards a gravity body. So yeah, despite actually what would be considered nosing up, I'm nosing down. Um, so we're, we're, we're going to uh, accelerate up to a couple of thousand meters per second orbital velocity, put myself in a parking orbit, and then we'll talk about where I'm going with this. So, gaining horizontal momentum with this beautiful panning shot here, uh, and my fuel runs out, so we just drop down and uh, lose the lose the the, 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 the last stage. Uh, now you'll notice on my uh, my little readouts on the top left there that I've got my apple apps is far too high up, so I'm going to start nosing down. Um, but that gives us beautiful opportunity to see the the nice little docking port that I put on the bottom of this. This is now a permanent installation in space this particular vessel that's because as I say he is going to be our uh, cleanup crew um, hopefully we'll have little crew cycles on the go and I'm gonna plant well I've got a station around the Mun already um, I also plan to put one around Kerbin just to uh, maybe like clear up the, the orbit around Kerbin but mainly the orbit around Kerbin is actually quite clear because I keep dropping all my stuff whilst I'm still in suborbital which you know is necessary uh, this beautiful shot here of uh, the surface of Kerbal Kerbin Ker Ker yeah one of those um, and there we go there's the moon so without even setting a uh, setting a, a, a waypoint I'm just like you know what? I can see it Let, let's nail it um, I, I fully intended to uh, wait a little bit longer um, put myself down a uh, maneuver node but I, I saw it in the perfect spot it was just rising over the horizon as I was uh, sorting out well so just as I was thinking about the maneuver node so I was like nail it go we know what we're doing here let's 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 just go and trust to the to the, the what, the navigation gods uh, so a little bit of a turn here shows the uh, positioning uh, system that I put on the top of this this rocket it uh, ties in with the uh, ScanSat, not ComSat, scan, ScanSat um, plugin that I'm using. Uh, so I will appear on on any of those um, those maps. Not that this one particularly needs it, because as I say, he's a uh, he's a space vessel. That that's the only only place it is going. I don't know why I keep calling it he. Um. But with my manual account encounter in place, all that I really have to do is uh, time warp up and through. Uh, a quick check of how close I throw a maneuver node in. 
That seems very unlike me at this point. Um, and then just go, right, well, we know what's going on here. Let's time warp up and watch Kerbin disappear into the background. Um, obviously, I, I, I want to check my fuel levels quick, see where, where I've got fuel and where I haven't got fuel, because the worst, the, the worst thing that could possibly happen would be that I was burning all the fuel from my ship when what I actually wanted to do was burn from my boosting stage. Uh, and we're about halfway between the moon and... Um, Kerbin now uh, and so I switch my view round and watch the moon roll in I say watch the moon roll in the, the moon's just kind of going off on its own course it, it is on a circular one but there we go uh, and now I get one of those ever so persistent um, alarms uh, I, I I've got to go in and tweak the, the 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 alarm clock settings I'm getting far too many notifications for the short duration stuff uh, I, I'm sure if I was just a little bit more forgetful than I am now, uh, it would be ideal. Um, but as it is, uh, the, the, it's just too much, too much at the moment, so I need to try and sort that out. Uh, you saw me set my maneuver node there for a circularization burn. Um, uh, and all in all, at this point, I'm feeling pretty happy about how this mission is going. Um, I mean, th there's nothing that really could go horribly, horribly wrong here, could there? I mean, I'm in orbit, I've got a rendezvous with a station. Uh, all is good. Now for the sake of brevity, we're going to jump to this particular point here where I have um, brought myself down a bit lower because I didn't want this, that, that booster stage being uh, left in orbit. Uh, that, that would have been a lot more work than is necessary for the vessel that is indeed um, supposed to be cleaning up. Um, so I, I, I throttle up and I'm like, er? What's going on here? Why, why is nothing happening? And I'm like, oh, of course, I didn't stage. And then the first thing I do is crash into that vessel, which was amazing. But, um, you know, there we go. That That's the wonders of, well, messing things up, you know. <laughs> and for some reason, I decide that this is the point to, to reload at my quick save here. And I, I really wish I hadn't, because to be fair, I hadn't done that much damage. I, I hadn't pushed myself out of orbit particularly uh, it all looked pretty good so I'm, I'm not sure why I did but regardless of my reasons uh, I switch to the chase camera view uh, steer myself around and get my orbit into a nice well just where I want it just touching the the, the orbit of the space station that I'm supposed to be uh, matching up with and I thought hey as we're at it why why not watch this bit smash into the face of the of the, of the moon it's it's what we're here for um, and then ignore the alarms that keep springing up. Um, so yeah, run, run up through the through the time warps, uh, get down into to cinematic view, and watch that rock come up to meet me. Whoa. So I'm screaming in here at hundreds of meters per second. So fast, in fact, that it just obliterates. And yeah, that was all right, but that wasn't great. So we uh, switch back to Grasper 2. Yes, indeed, there was a Grasper 1, but um, I, I didn't like the design. That's why, that's why I dropped it. I thought this design would be much better. I used the, uh, the cylindrical cockpit instead of this uh, pointy one. And whilst, yeah, the, the pointy one's got all sorts of issues of um, like smashing into things and stuff, uh, I, I figured it would be better to be able to actually see. Uh, so here I spend some time sorting out my manoeuvre nudes and making sure that uh, I, I, I get into something approaching uh, a close uh, close encounter. But indeed, uh, on this first pass, it's too far away. So we're just going to uh, blast through. Um, get as close as I can, try and circular it, well, get my orbit's coplanar and see what happens. So, speeding around our orbit, Kurza looks insanely happy to be part of this particular endeavour before he notices one of his first tasks. Uh, that over there was a bit of debris that came with um, Lenry's refuelling drone. Um, and indeed, I am mere seconds away, as the alarm clock tells us, from uh, performing my burn. Now I'm not sure exactly how, how far it's got to go, so I take myself down to like 15 seconds or so and throttle up hard, uh, kill all the other manoeuvre nodes and just uh, wa watch my projected or predicted orbits just to see uh, how close I'm getting and what, need, what needs fiddling with. Uh, once I've taken it down to a, to a close enough circular orbit that I'm happy with, what I'll do is I'll find my um, 
ascending nodes, the the, the you know the the bits where our, our orbits cross, and try and figure out how to make it as clo coplanar as possible. As indeed, this uh, this little muck around with the maneuver node will be trying to do uh, somewhere about there. <laughs> So coming back, uh, I'm having a good look around. Um, there's, there's never really too much to be out to be seen in IVA view. Um, I just thought I'd see what I could do from this view, as indeed we are just out in the middle of space, and this does appear to be the ideal time to be doing such things. Uh, 25 meters per second to burn through. It takes about five seconds, they say, so we'll uh, race round as fast as we can. Yes, alarm clock, I know, but you're minutes away and I wanted it seconds. Oh, oh, overrun. Dang it. Um, so, boosting around a little bit, I'm just going to keep my eye on this node here. Uh, I obviously got rid of my manoeuvre node as soon as possible, and about 0 0.3 degrees. It's not ideal, obviously I'd like NA, but, um, you know, that that will do. And now we're just going to run around in our orbit until I see that we're getting close enough to, to be thinking uh, and indeed that little purple encounter there seems ideal for me um, about seven seven uh, kilometers distance if I remember correctly yep and indeed a, uh, a velocity difference of only five meters per second so with the merest of pushes we can get a rendezvous on and we're gonna talk through this rendezvous because I've not done a rendezvous on, on here for a while um, I, I, I do enjoy I do enjoy it quite a lot, uh, especially pushing around the, the 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 little markers here to try and get things added uh, lining up. Uh, as you can see, I'm headed here at two meters per second. Uh, what I like to do is try and cancel my my uh, target difference as far down as possible before I then point straight at it. And at these sort of distances, I like to hit sort of 50, 100 kilometer, uh, 100 meters per second uh, approaching speed because trying to clear seven kilometers at three meters per second is slow the problem is that this normally happens so what i'm trying to do now is just uh level my speed back off and that was a beautiful view in the background there that i completely blanked out because i was um because i was talking to you basically cheers guys that's that's nice of you to distract me like that now some of you may remember when i put this in orbit that for some interesting reason i neglected to give the uh the the, the science depot a uh, a probe body uh to be honest what the reason was, ooh, little shove what the reason uh actually was was because um i wanted to put the probe body on the the booster stage so i could fly it back into uh, into the planet, uh, into the moon, in fact, and not have to use this. Now, the problem is this means it's now got no control system for opening up this particular docking port here, which if I had used any other docking port than the closing one, would have been fine. Um, I would have just docked up and then been able to use my ship controls. But no, I had to be fancy, and because of that fancy, I'm going to pay for it. So I've realised my issue here, and I'm just like, mm, okay, right, well, let's let's just try and get as close as possible and see if we can get Cursor out to do anything about it. Um, I, I, I get a little bit closer, as I say. But watching those numbers go down that quickly is quite scare, scary, but remember, this is double time. So... Um, uh, and when, when we're within sort of 20 metres or so, I, I, I try and completely null my speed off. Um, get Cursor out and it's like, right, well you can sit, you can sit in the, in the, in the lab, right? Maybe if I sit in the lab you can get some sort of control. Um, unfortunately this, this is not the case. Uh, this is not the case at all. Um, there we go. Can't do it. So this is just an overly complex bit of space junk now. Uh, it's fully fueled, fully electric, uh, it's fully, fully fully pimped out apart from it ain't got no control system which is amazing and just to round off this amazing flight we're going into the dark side of, of the moon um, terrible right so we, we need to, to make another launch um, this launch needs to be uh, one of these but with a pro body which should be easy enough you know uh, a few few uh, few tweaks to the base design and we should be able to, to, to get this running so I'm just gonna leave leave good old Curzo here and we're gonna go launch another one
So, coming up fast, here we have the Better Science Depot uh, with Fifal Kerman. Uh, he is a, our newest space astronaut. Uh, welcome him to the team. Uh, obviously, he is the sole reason that I'm blaming on this particular launch here. I thought you guys might like to uh, witness this one. It gave me more than a few chuckles whilst I was uh, performing it and looking at it now, it's uh, just as funny. Fifal looking rather concerned and as he should do. There we go. Um, disintegration. It all went horribly wrong, people. Obviously, all I need are some struts. Um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, let's try and get out an EVA and push my jetpack upwards because that's going to slow me down enough. Oh, watch that go fast. Splat. Yeah, nice. Um, right, so we're going to try that again. Um, as you can see, we've got more, more supports on. Uh, the major change that I made to the actual science depot was putting on a uh, cockpit on the front so that not only could it be controlled remotely, I, th I think I put a, a probe on there. I may not have, actually. I may have just gone for cockpit control. Um, but yeah, so, so mainly that any uh, a passing space astronaut can jump in there and get get on and do what he needs to do. Now, we've seen all this. Um, I, I don't think anything in particular all that interesting happens in this orbit, so I'm going to jump straight to rendezvousing. And here we go, we're around the moon. Hey, quickest flight yet. Uh, as I say, completely uneventful, all staging went well, and we've got a fair amount of fuel left over. Um, I've already brought myself down into a fairly low orbit, trying to match up with the space station. Um, was I trying to match up? Yeah, no, I was trying to match up with um, Grabber 2, um, as obviously these two need to mate up to, 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 to mate up. Um, so the way I like to do it is when I've uh, got a nice low touch like this, if I get myself just beyond this marker coming up and then burn for a bit, you can see where the, the, the meeting will happen in the next orbit. Uh, hopefully I'm going to stop mucking around. Oh, I see. I'm in a massive ship again and it takes forever to turn it round. Uh, good, good going. Good going, Twitchy. That's uh, exactly what we needed to do. Incidentally, I found if you need to um, get round quickly, uh, uh, your vessel will always be a lot better at pivoting, sort of torque style, uh, not not pivoting, uh, twisting on its axis, axis um, rather than uh, rather than trying to turn lengthwise. So try and rock yourself back and forth. It's, it, yeah, there we go. That's, that's what I do. Um, all right, so self and maneuver node. For some reason, that's how I've decided to do it. And there we go. Uh, uh, inspe uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? An encounter as close as that. I should have gone with the last one, right? But no, I'm going to bring it closer and go with this one because the, the orbits seem a little bit sl closer together. Uh, beautiful view of Kerbin as I manhandle my vessel round again and there's my maneuver node and for only four minutes to wait so hopefully we sh we shouldn't have too much uh, time on our hands uh, for some reason I do like to make sure that I'm pointed at the the maneuver node well ahead of time which sometimes means I spend a little bit too much time making sure I'm pointed directly at it uh, to the point where I get the, the, the alarm clock warnings almost straight away. Uh, the worst thing about having such a large ship about this is that I've got a bigger engine on it. So the, it's an even finer degree of control, well, a finer margin of error. Uh, no. Well, anyway, the, the time around the, 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 the maneuver burn is a lot smaller. Um, Though I seem to do quite well at just uh, easing back on my throttle for doing that. Uh, and once I've matched up within five meters per second, kill that and oh, it's a lot further away than I thought it was going to be, and that's a lot closer. So hopefully, if I, I just come back down, we can push that in as close as possible, and that should be fine, right? That, that, that should be great. We'll, we'll we'll spin around our orbit. We'll open that ahead of time, which is uh, possibly a very good idea, and we're. Very low on orbit there, but uh, low on orbit, low on uh, low on fuel there. Now I know all I have to do is wait for the next orbit to come round, and then everything should work out fine. Though for some reason Kerbal has started uh, loading me in completely zoomed out on stuff, which is uh, not overly inconvenient, but a, a little bit awkward. 
So there we go. That's quite a, a, a diving orbit that I've put put that vessel into. I didn't didn't quite realise it was uh, quite like that as I was, I was sorting it out. But you know, there we go. That's the the, the the wonders of space. You put a small push in, and you get a, a, a big difference. Um, and here we go, coming up, getting ready to, to, to maneuver into it. Uh, that is indeed the one I want, so we're going to wait until we're as close as possible. Um, and it seems to be a little bit lost on my... There we go, that's what we're looking at. Um, nine kilometres away, we can get closer with a time warp. Uh, and into two kilometres, one kilometre, it's time to start braking, I think. Uh, let's try and get our, our, our speeds of the same uh, match velocities as they say in the, in the lingo and bring us down into uh, RCS range now one thing that is a little bit annoying about this is the fact that I've got so much fuel left over uh, so much in fact that I don't really want to dump this at this precise moment in time but the RCS on my ship is only really set up for uh, the ship itself, not for the ship and this tiny booster unit that I've put on it. So I'm, I'm going to spend some time mucking around and floating about. Um, but all in all, it goes pretty well. Uh, and my maneuver process, maneuver process, my my docking process is very much the same as my encounter process. Uh, like when once you get within like 10 kilometers or so. Uh, you like you line up your, your vectors and you push about a bit and you 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 go towards and you zero your speed you go towards and you zero your speed that's what it's all about um, like ideally I should be making sure my my points are pointing at each other because at this moment I'm just gonna kind of bash into it and it's gonna be no good though I am trying to like feather down my speed um, also chase cam ideal for this uh, suddenly all your controls are lined up with your ve with your vessel or with your field of view sorry uh, one of my major major gripes about the free camera is the fact that whilst whilst I can fly relative to the vessel I my, my brain wants to fly relative to my screen um, which is a little bit annoying but that you know that's that's the way games are um, you, you you play the control system placed in front of you. So so now I'm like, wait, what's going on? I should be should be matching up here. Why is this not working? Let's let's speed spin back and, and pick a direction to point at. Uh and as I say that I can watch my, my, my grabber vessel uh flitting away. So I, I as I'm facing closest to north, I'm like, well, fair enough. We're we're gonna go to north because this, this vessel is a beast. Um, and I just put it in a spin and leave it spinning because, you know, that's the type of person I am. But there we go. Um, right at this very l lend, mo lend moment, this very end moment, I, c I can see everything's coming together. Uh, and uh, hopefully within a matter of minutes we will be uh, docking. So all that is really left to say is thank you very much for joining me for this botched adventure. Uh, I hope you join me next time where we're going to actually be pushing some debris out of orbit and putting Lenry down on the moon to be doing some, uh, some, some keythane mining. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me and we'll see you next time. Bye!